The first step is gonna to be to remove the two screws holding the winch cover on. Remove the winch cover and then remove the tow hook. You'll just wanna take one side bolt out, leave one in, and apply pressure pulling this bolt back so that way the backing plate stays in place. And you wanna rotate the tow hook downward, get it out of the way, and you wanna take your bolt Thread it right back into the backing plate. Just get a couple good threads on it, and then grab a hold of this bolt. Apply some pressure this way to keep that backing plate in place again. And then on the opposite side, go ahead and remove the bolt. We got the tow hook off. We'll take the hardware, thread it back in this side. And that's going to be sure to keep our backing plate in place, so that way it doesn't fall down, slide underneath the diff, or get in a spot where it's hard to get to. The next step is to remove the grill for ease of access. Just pull down on these two tabs here, pull the grill out, set it aside. Then you're going to want to grab your backing plate provided in the winch mount kit, slide it through this hole here, and then slide the stud up through the center hole on the frame. Get your nut started. Make sure that the outer holes in the frame line up with the outer holes that are threaded on the backing plate. The awesome thing about this winch mount is that you can install a 3500, 4500, or 5000 pound winch. The bracket's ready for any application, but today we're gonna to be installing a 3500. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip our winch upside down. Upside down is gonna be away from the side that says Super ATV on it. So we're gonna lay this flat. And we're gonna take our mount. We're gonna line up our inner holes with our winch since we're using a 3,500 pound winch today. And we're gonna make sure when we line this up, the flat portion is gonna line up with the backing plate that we just installed and that our connections are going to be toward the driver's side. So we're gonna make sure everything's lined up and we're gonna go ahead and take our hardware that was provided in the kit with the winch itself. Go ahead and get all the hardware started here. Using the provided M8 by 20 millimeter hardware, you're gonna attach the winch and the mount to the machine. The two lower bolt holes need to go in place of where the tow hook was. And then the top flat portion with the two holes needs to attach where we installed the provided backing plate. And orient it like so. This can be installed by yourself, but to ease installation, have somebody reach in behind and hold the lower backing plate in place for you while you get your two bolts started. The next thing we're gonna do is install our Fairlead adapter plate to our winch cover. Here, we're gonna make sure that we line up the holes. The outer holes are gonna do the outer holes on the cover. I'm gonna take our M8 by 20 millimeter hardware Drop the bolts through, take our nylock nuts, go ahead and get them started. This on both sides. Now we're going to install the provided fair lead from the winch kit. Just lay it on there like so. Take your provided hardware from the winch and your nylock nuts also provided with the winch kit. And get those started. And then before tightening everything up, you want to make sure that everything's centered and oriented how you want it. So then you're, you'll use an Allen wrench and a 13 millimeter wrench. Just go ahead and tighten everything up. We've got our fair lead adapter and fair lead attached to the winch cover. So now we're gonna go ahead and install it. You're gonna grab your winch rope, feed it through the fair lead, pull it all the way through. Then you're gonna slide the top portion in between the fascia and the winch until your holes line up. Once the holes are lined up, take the rest of your hardware here. Go ahead and get all your bolts started. Once you get your top bolt started, you want to go down to the bottom, reach up through the bottom of the winch cover. Make sure the holes are lined up. 
We're going to go ahead and connect our hot and ground wires to our winch. This machine previously had the 3,500 pound winch wired up to it, so all the wiring's done internally. Take one of the copper washers, place it on the stud, take the ground wire, slide it onto the stud, take another washer, place it on there, and then take your nut. Then once you get it all tight, you want to take your boot and slide it over top of the stud. Repeat the steps for the hot wire. Install the stop block to the winch rope. When installing this, you want to make sure that the Super ATV is facing away from the machine. Now we're going to install the clevis hook. You'll want to slide the clevis onto the rope here at the very end. Then you want to take the pin, feed it through the rope. You want to take your cotter pin and install it. Just go ahead and bend it away. You want to grab your drill. Go ahead and slide it back into place. And that's how super easy it is to install Super ATV's winch mount on this Polaris Razor Turbo S. For more information on this winch mount or any of Super ATV's great products, give us a call at 855-743-3427 or check us out online at superatv.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.